Right now, I don't see any path to review because the president over the weekend or maybe Monday uh, puts a detailed plan of how he would spend the money on the table. And quite frankly, as you would expect, they expected Pelosi and Schumer to come back with a counter offer and they didn't come back with a counter offer. And so it's at a standstill. Uh, the president is threatening emergency uh, action, uh, national emergency declaration. Uh, I don't think he should do that. I think it's a bad precedent and it contravenes uh, the power of the purse that comes from the elected representatives of the people. And, but I believe that he uh, is uh, threatening it. Uh, but I don't understand why there can't be a compromise here from this standpoint. Look, at when you, we've already decided in March one and six tenths billion dollars for border security. The president thinks he wants close to six. So normally you split the difference on any, almost any appropriation bill difference between the House and Senate. The other thing is we have so many senators and a lot of House members that have already supported 650 miles of fence. Then you also have Republicans supporting something that Democrats want to do something about uh, the DACA kids. So it seems to me like there's plenty of opportunity here uh, to compromise. But if Pelosi wants to be just very anti-Trump and, uh, and respond to her caucus in a way that uh, shuts down government, I don't know what you can do about it. But the, you got to negotiate is the bottom line. Senator Grassley, I, I, I hear what you say about negotiation and trying to find some sort of a compromise, but if the president does go ahead and declare a national emergency, as you've said you're opposed to, you're, you're the second Republican senator in two days who said on this program that they are not in favor of that. Marco Rubio said the same thing to us earlier uh, yesterday or the day before. Would you, what would you do if, if he does declare a state of emergency? You, you seem well, to think that's I, an overreach of, of presidential yeah. power. I believe that you're going to find it in the courts almost immediately and the courts are going to make a decision. And if they, if it does go to the courts, I don't know the procedure that it, how quickly it can get to the Supreme Court, but if the Supreme Court has the capability of, uh, for, uh, of uh, foreclosing lower courts operating on it and getting it to the Supreme Court, I think the sooner you get the decision, the better.